Morning, Claudia. How'd you sleep? Oh, you know those nights when you're so uncomfortable, you just hurt, but you don't know why you hurt so bad, you just don't want to lay there anymore? It's a kind of a normal night for me. Oh. At the Two Mile Jade Mine in northern BC. And one for there, too. Claudia's camp is bursting at the seams. This is where Joshua is living right now, is in the first aid room. I got a, a hammock slash ballast. And I hold my tent down at night, so on the really windy, stormy nights, I just get in here with my sleeping bag, and I hold my tent down while I sleep. <sighs> Call it a night. The tent is just a temporary Band-Aid. We need accommodations for the employees. We need to start to develop our infrastructure here a little bit more sophisticatedly. Camp is overcrowded. Everybody's on top of each other. This is good. Because you're sleeping right there. OK. We have Krim this year. I am sleeping in the kitchen. <laughs> and my dad's coming out. I woke up. I couldn't sleep much. I slept maybe an hour. Tomorrow, I'll bring you a sleeping bag. Everybody is crammed in together. Nobody's really happy. Double click on it. Claudia and Robin need to find a solution fast, so they search for a bunkhouse online. I'm trying that's to fine. find Just do that one. No, that's, uh, just wait a minute. I'm looking for the. Robin knows nothing about computers, but he, he knows how to buy on the auction sites. Double click on it. Did you put it into, oh, there's the bunkhouse. This has four bedrooms? It says that this bunkhouse has four bedrooms. That's what we need. We need a bunkhouse because we need to have more room, and we need it to be warmer and safer and a nice closed-in environment. With the click of a button, Robin buys a bunkhouse. Perfect. Now they'll have to put mining on hold to make a trip to Edmonton to pick it up. It's going to delay us at least a week. With 100 days of mining, every single day is critical. Every lost day is a lost day. I'll never get back again. You have everything, Robin? OK. The timing couldn't be worse, just as their season gets underway. Last week, Josh pulled what could be the highest grade core samples they've ever seen. <laughs> First day of mining, great samples. Wow. This, there might be 100 tons of that right here. But mining this deposit means stepping up their game and expanding their infrastructure. We have a drill program that we're trying to do this year, so we just need to have a little bit more accommodations. In 100 days, you don't have a week to waste. But we need this bunkhouse. Good job staying between the lines. How are you? Bad job. Claudia and Robin are on the road to Edmonton, <laughs> along with Scrappy Larry, who will haul the bunkhouse back to Jade City. This deck's got rollers on it. Is that so we can kind of drag the bunkhouse on it? Yeah. Yeah. Josh will share driving duties. There we go. So Larry can make a special stop along the way. Picking up some uh, uh, priority cargo. Scrappy found a girlfriend. I met her on one of them senior dating things, and you know, it was a big jump for her to meet a scrap truck driver. <laughs> her kids were gonna hog tire. She's gonna meet up in Edmonton, and they're gonna come back to Jade City together, so she's coming to the scrapyard. Larry, 10 minutes, and you'll be on your date number two. I already got the parking spot picked out. You're going on date number two, and me and Robin are 35 years tomorrow. How many dates is that? I know you lose count after a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's her. Uh -huh. There's Susan. Where? In the parking lot. Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> Scrappy Larry was married for a really long time and then lost his wife quite a few years ago to cancer. He's had a really rough time these last few years. I'm Josh. Hi, Joe. It's a pleasure Hi. to meet Claudia. you. Claudia. How are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> it's so nice to see uh, Scrappy and Susan together, and he's really happy. So we're really thrilled for him. <laughs> At the Edmonton auction lot. They have us all ready to go. 
Right on. Claudia and Robin meet up with Gary to load the bunkhouse. <laughs> they needed the guns to load this. Oh, my god. Robin bought it on the internet, sight unseen. What, that big one there? It's exciting. This doesn't look like the right trailer. What? It's your own trailer. I look in the bunkhouse, and that's not what the pictures I was looking at when I bid on it. This is not what we ordered. We needed to have four rooms. We basically have a two-bedroom. It's not what we bought. But the number on there is the same number on here, like the frame number. 2529. Yeah. All the numbers match, but the picture is that he showed me and what he was bidding on doesn't match this. It doesn't show the side, like with the doors? Oh, my god. What did Robin do? I don't know what you did. Robin's online shopping blunder is a $14,000 mistake. I don't know that we'll ever find out quite what happened, but Robin bought the wrong bunkhouse. And now we're stuck with it. There's nothing you can do. Once you buy it, it's yours. Now we got to put doors in there. We have to do a renovation. OK, watch yourself. It's going to move. Yeah, pretty close. There we go. There you got her. What overhang? <laughs> and he's on. I guess we're off like the herd of turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia's in a hurry to get back to Jade City, but Scrappy Larry has other ideas. We were thinking of stopping for an ice cream cone. You guys feel like doing that? Oh, Scrappy. Yeah, sure. We're already so delayed. Let's just stop for an ice cream, honey. You betcha. Scrappy's giddy like a little girl. You want chocolate? Yes, please. <laughs> I get that they want to date along the way, but I need to get home. You ready to hit the road? Josh takes the wheel so the new couple can have some alone time. Just ring the bell if you guys need anything. I'll be here. No, no, don't take your pants off here. No, no. Stop it. <laughs> don't distract the driver. <laughs> nicer and nicer every kilometer. Must be headed home. Oh, you know, I, I don't really want to go there, because when she sees the place, I think she's going to shoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bit worried. I mean, I didn't lie. I did tell her I have uh, rustic conditions here, but didn't tell her exactly how rustic. I'm going to be so dead when she comes here. <laughs> yeah. Morning, just outside Jade City. Let's go check it out. After arriving late last night, Susan gets her first chance to tour Scrappy Larry's home by the light of day. Well, you got lots of stuff. I locked my guns up so she don't kill me when she sees accommodations. This is a phone system over there. Holy smoke. Larry fears his scrapyard homestead could send Susan running. Yeah, I'm a little worried. I think I'll be able to calm her down, I hope. You need a big garage sale. I got a big garage, but it's full of junk. No, it's a big garage sale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never been to somewhere where there was such a vast collection and such an amazing array of different stuff. I got a little bit of everything here. You know, they need something weird or whatever. Most of the times I have it, but I'm not a hoarder, I don't think. <laughs> After Susan has checked out his home. It's got to be cup of tea time by now. Larry asks the big question. What did you think? Was it not too bad? Uh, no, it was fine. It's not, yeah. it's not a problem. OK, so you're lying, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Lots of possibilities. She's willing to give it a whirl, so can't ask for more than that. Later that morning at the scrapyard, Robin's got a surprise up his sleeve. Scrappy, what the hell? <laughs> so, um, that uh, six by six, we should uh, square up with you on that. What's six by six? Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you, uh, 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 so. He decided to buy something without consulting me. What six by six? No shopping. Stop. <laughs> Let me see what he just did. I'm going to kill him. Let me see. <laughs> 
Robin months. <laughs> $5,000. Not too pretty happy. See, Claude Ayer's your new investment right there. Oh, dear God. Downhill works great. First, Robin buys the wrong bunkhouse, and then he buys an old truck. Robin needs a special truck to get the bunkhouse up the steep trail to two mile. Six wheel drive. This is going to be amazing. And you know it'll tire her radials because you can see the steel belt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a six wheel drive. So I just figured we'll just call it six pack. So that price, is that freaking delivered? No. You got to drive it then. Hopefully, it'll do lots of things, but getting the bunkhouse in is key. OK, we're going home. Let's leave. <laughs> Let's go before I start to bury people. The guys will return later in the day to get the old truck running. Men and their junk. <laughs> this is not going to go well, I can tell you right now. I want to make a bet. Is it going to start or not start? Well, when I first looked at it, I'm going, OK, it's an older piece of junk truck type of thing. It's been sitting for years, but you never know. Can we bring ether? Yep. OK, oh, yeah, Josh, B. That don't sound good. Nope. Whoop. <coughs> well, we know we got power. That's an knock, right? Oh. Should we dump that good diesel in? Well, we can, yeah. The problem could be old fuel in the tank. It definitely smells like paint okay. thinner, and uh, that's not what diesel smells like. So they top it up and try again. You good? Punch it, Chewy. Oil pressure's good. Battery's good. <laughs> You're officially ordering parts. <laughs> it started. So fair enough, we're ahead of the game already. It's nice to finally get a win. Didn't waste money. We just have to do the tires. They're all wore out, so we had to buy tires. We're rolling. See you guys in two miles. There she goes, Ruben. I want to see Claudia's expression. Yep. <laughs> yep. Do we have red wine? Yeah. The, oh, my God, Robin got it going. I'm never going to hear the end of it. When that thing lit up, Robin lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> I can't see why we can't use these tires. I don't want to spend 10000 on tires. It turns out Robin already has. So we got floater tires for the back and float tires for the front. Is it an invoice? He obviously shopped a few days earlier without talking to me about it. So yeah, he's in big trouble. They can go right there. The six pack, it's an older truck. These should be on the front. It's just going to be a work in progress. You went in there, Gary? Oh, are you kidding me? That sucks. Well, them rims ain't going on the front. Robin ordered the wrong front tires. Most trucks are same bolt pattern front to back. This one's different. Should have caught it. We didn't. We got a problem. Bolt pattern here is different on the front than it is on the back. Tires I was going to put on there don't fit. Finally, some good news in Jade City. <clears throat> Triple ply. Robin has found another set of front tires to replace the floaters that didn't fit. These tires have been a thorn in our butt. Yes, it's a very good start to the morning. <clears throat> Coffee? We have so much to do. We really have to get going out to the mine site. Claudia's determined to leave for two mile first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, what, coffee break? Yeah. Who says? Did you not look at the time? But her crew doesn't appear to be in a rush. Well, I feel like I need to motivate my crew to move faster. Things get done, but not fast enough for my liking. Can I take your cup now? OK, thanks. OK, get to work. Yep. One of the projects moving at a snail's pace is the bunkhouse renovation. You frame that in, you frame the other wall in. Yeah. And then now you're just putting the doors in. Yeah, I'm going to frame the door. Joe's only got one door done. He's still got two or three more to do. How long? Soon. There's so much to get done. We're running out of time. We got to get going. Robin, yes. get Joshua to organize the stuff that has to go. Just give me a second, please. If I don't start to organize this, you're not going to be organized enough for us to be able to go. I'm going to organize the stuff for what I need out there. OK, but you can't do it yourself. So you need to get somebody else to, to start to take it for you. At least put it beside the truck. 
Ah. Claudia would like everything to be done right now. It just takes as long as it takes. If we have to stay up till midnight, we stay up till midnight. That's just the way it goes. Never a dull moment. At Larry's scrapyard. Holy mackerel. Change is afoot. Hey. What's going on? How am I supposed to find anything around here now? I had every pile all neatly stacked. I can't believe it. Uh, she's been steady cleaning. Look at my coffee cups clean. Holy. Too organized for me. You washed the floor. I can actually see the color of it now. I know. Isn't that amazing? I keep telling every time I come home, I figure I've gone to the wrong house, eh? Come on. I hurt my hands. <laughs> <laughs> He's just wonderful. I love him. I told you I can dry dishes. Just being with her makes me happy. We've, yeah. got, we've got a system. He does the outside, and I yeah. do the inside. Yeah. And you know how neat the outside is. <laughs> <laughs> Evening in Jade City. The crowd goes wild. Doesn't that look pretty expensive? <laughs> She's pretty expensive. Yes, she is. Six pack is ready to roll. And the bunkhouse has two extra rooms. So now it's totally finished? Yeah. OK. We're going to load it up and go. Yes, it's OK. I'm done. I want to have a quick meeting here with you guys. We will work as long as we need to tonight to make sure that this is all geared up and ready to go for a scrappy to pick up in the morning. You already got a 12, 13 hour day. Last minute job. Oh, let's put the bunkhouse on your trailer. Guy drags the bunkhouse into position. All kinds of creaking. And Robin raises the trailer to line it up. Are you going to pick that up? A little tiny bit. Whoa! Hey, what are you, what are you doing? Gotta go over about that far. Okay, it's just the kingpin. And I'm on here. The f we're all tired, we're all frustrated. We're gonna hook to right there. Now we have more lift. Yeah. You ready, Gary? Ready, let's give her a shot. Watch the chain. Start. Okay. 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 There she is. She's coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. oh, this is going to be a huge gong show. Let me rehook. OK, stand back from these pins, you guys. Back up. Tell them to stop. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pulling the wood off. It's half rotten. Get Perfect. that bullish one out. The bottom one. There. OK. Go. Let's do it. Pull it on. Yeah. That looks pretty good there. She's on there, Mom. Whoop, whoop. Great job. It's 9 o'clock at night. We started at 6 this morning. But the trailer's on. We're ready to go. Tomorrow morning, they'll leave for the mine. I don't care what they say about your crew. It's a motley one, that's for sure. An early start in Jade City. Claudia and crew are finally heading out to their claim at Two Mile. The pressure is on. We do need to get to camp as fast as possible. Yeah, there you go. Scrappy Larry will haul the bunkhouse to the trailhead. And Robin will follow, taking Six Pack on another trailer. Six Pack can't go down the road with the floater tires. They're not legal. When we get to the landing, Larry will drop the trailer and we'll just back under it with six pack and take off. But something's not right. Try again. Try it again, yep. Nope. That rear axle's not kicking in. You got that one on the floor? Yep. Now you need the one for the four-wheel drive. Yep. The truck doesn't have enough power to climb the ramp. Yep. Try it again, yep. Nope. Let Gary try it out. Here you go, boss. Right, she won't lock in for you? It's only one tire kicking in. The truck's six-wheel drive has failed. Go rain. Nope. One tire. There's an air valve right here. This is on its own air valve. And that goes down to your diff. Why is everyone looking aimlessly? One tire driving isn't good. Only one tire. 
We can't get it to kick the other ones in. Sounds to me like a broken axle. Shut it up. Can't go up there with one wheel drive. No. Without six wheel drive, there's no chance of the truck making it up the steep winding road to two mile. Major problem. Is it a special piece that you have to order and everything? Yeah, it's, it's an old truck. Unhook it. Put it back. That's about all we can do. So to me, the six pack is a dud. You win some, you lose some. I think Robin lost this one. Everything that we've been working on has just fallen apart. Definitely no way to get out to two mile now. We're done. We stay. Next time on Jade Fever. Oh my God, there's a lot of snow up here, you guys. Oh, here we got snow on the road. My dad's gonna try to run my camp, I know it. It's definitely difficult to work with family. Your husband doesn't listen. That looks like hell. It's frustrating when you try to help. It is too against you. Why am I wasting time here? Dad! Tell you, Robin never... doesn't want me here. I need to talk to you right now on the side. Yes. I'm telling you that he might leave right now.